What's up, YouTube, Facebook, all my uh, base heads, mechanics, and people that do follow me on YouTube or follow me on Facebook. It's OG Soda Pop Kid coming to you direct once again. I made a change here. It took me some hours to do this. Um, I thought about this a few days ago, redoing my battery delete. And um, this is it right here. I came up with something different. I got my uh, I got my tag meter wires in the way as well. But I came up with something a little bit different. I thought about here. You know, I wanted to switch things up a little bit. I wanted to move the positive and negative quite a bit away from each other. So I wouldn't arc out, accidentally drop wrenches and ratchets and, you know, sockets and all that. And so I wanted to move them away from each other, make it a little bit more cleaner. So I came up with this idea right here. Of course, uh, that's straight stock, straight stock aluminum. I took two uh, quarter inch pieces and stacked them together is what I did to make a half inch uh, thick. A bus bar, you know. And if you guys remember, that was the battery to lead there, the box I made some years ago. And I had these in there, remember? So I switched it up a little. It took me some hours to do this. My back is aching. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even go through this, man. It's modifying stuff because this stuff's a pain in the ass, dude. I, you know, bending over, I had to rewire everything. And then when I got everything hooked up, my dog on high beams wouldn't come on. And I was wondering why my high beams wouldn't come on all of a sudden. And uh, that's what these toggle switches are for. I mean, these, um, my fault, these 12 volt relays is for. I got toggle switches. You know, this is for my uh, marker lights, my low beams and my high beams right there. And that's for my alarm. Actually, you know what I mean? And my um, high beams would not come on. And I'm looking around and trying to chase this down. To come to find out, I just didn't have the uh, one of the wires I hooked up, man. It was like tucked away. And then, yeah. Boy, I'm telling you. I was about to be uh, checking all my fuses and everything under the dashboard. And I didn't have to do all of that. Did not have to do all of that. And I've been chasing down ever since I got that uh, Mazira water pump. And I removed the uh, manual water pump that had a six, uh, six inch in diameter pulley on it. Ever since I changed it, I've been chasing down this, uh, this squeal. Like every time I start up the, the car in the morning, uh, morning start, it goes. Ah! And I've been chasing down that noise for days, changing belts, belt sizes, changing pulleys, uh, moving pulleys over, getting smaller pulleys, bigger pulleys. You know, I went and brought those uh, those uh, three inch um, six rib pulleys right there with flanges on them and got rid of the, uh, the eight rib uh, smooth ones, you know, thinking... Um, I needed to, you know, lock the lock the belts in and all of that, man. And this uh, pulley down here, I got another hole over here where I could move this over. You know what I mean? To make it tighter, and but the belt size was changed, and none of that matters, man. It just kept screeching on startup. No matter what I was doing, no matter what I was doing, full wrap, quarter wrap, this wrap, every time I fired up, now I go, eh! And it only does it for about, I don't know, maybe two or three seconds. You know what I mean? So now I just got to deal with it. I got to deal with that. Uh, having that um, that manual water pump with that, with that extra pulley on it was preventing uh, belt screech or belt chirp. It was preventing that. Now I can't stop it, you know, on the first start. It don't matter how tight I made the belt. It don't, I mean, make, you know, it don't matter. <laughs> It just chirp. 
It's annoying, but I just got to deal with it, man. I just have to deal with it. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Nothing. You know what I mean? So as long as I hope if I do uh, go in a competition, I do a hard burp. I hope it don't start screaming. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I haven't had that problem in years, man. But, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Unbelievable. It's always something. It's always something when you're modifying. And I'm tired as I don't know what. I'm doing this all darn day, running back and forth to auto parts stores. You go to auto parts stores, they don't have ring terminals. And you got to go all the way to another one. And then you get uh, uh, Ace Hardware and 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 and, and uh, Busy Beaver. Man, you're running back and forth to them. They don't have certain bolts. They don't have coupler nuts. They don't have... Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like I got to order everything from Amazon now. Just order everything. You know what I mean? That's what I have to do from now on, man. This is, this is annoying. All right, people. I just wanted to show you my battery delete, uh, how I how I did it, just using bus bars, you know, boom, 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 soda pop kid over and out, peace.